The city of Indianapolis will be keeping plow trucks on the roads all throughout the night. Some neighborhood streets may be getting cleared a lot faster than normal. CBS 4's Bianca Reyes joins us live now from the north side to explain. Bianca. Yeah, good afternoon. People who live here in these residential streets like here near East 48th, 58th Street rather, and North Tacoma Road are usually on their own when it comes to plowing these streets. But now these streets and several others will be added to the city's normal route thanks to a new connector program. We're hoping this evening that we will get to push into our new connector network of streets that are further in to residential areas. Just in time for the first snowfall of the season, 300 miles worth of residential roads will be added to the city's snow route. We started this new connector network um, to replace uh, what we call the six inch rule. In the past, these roads would only get plowed by trucks the city contracted out and only if snow fell above six inches. There's a little bit of worry that there might be some refreezing of moisture on the roads. A total of 80 Indy Snow Force drivers will continue to treat major and secondary streets into Thursday morning. As for interstates, INDOT says things are looking clear. We're still going to be out there. We're still going to be cleaning, um, laying some salt if there are some slippery spots uh, as things kind of thaw and refreeze as we move past this. 40 of INDOT's 55 fleet trucks will clear highways and state roads as areas begin to refreeze when temperatures drop tonight. This is the first significant snow that we've seen, but it's certainly not going to be the last. Indiana State Patrol says so far the first snow caused 48 crashes and 13 spinoffs, a number slightly better than last year's first snowfall. However, it's not over yet. The, the, the day is still young and there, there's still snow on the ground. Slow down, buckle up and, and drive safely. Now, State Trooper Sergeant John Perrine says right now is actually the most dangerous time for drivers who are driving on the interstate because right now most of the interstates are clear, so drivers will have the false sense of that they can go rather fast on the interstate, but he's warning people that there are still many slick spots out there. Reporting on the city's north side, I'm Bianca Reyes. Back to you. Bianca, thank you. And you can track the conditions right now with the Indy Weather Authority app that gives you access to live Guardian radar and hourly forecasts for your community. That app is free to download.